Oh, man. Good, man. What we got today, bro? Yeah, you got the big X, man. Man, hey, I'm hearing these supposed to be somewhat crazy limited, bro. Super limited. How they look, though? We going we gonna to show them when we get to the vault, but how they look, bro? Man, they look fire, bro. They nice? They fire, man. They nice. I have my mixed reviews about it. I'm going to see how I feel like when I see them in hand, man. Dictionary trying to find words. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, like always, y'all, man. Appreciate my little bro G Main for it, man. Army, y'all already know where to find them at on the gram, man. We about to get to the vault and go ahead and check these joints out. One hour later. What up, what up, what up? Unbreakable Kicks Army. It's just been so much sneaker news going on that I ain't been able to give y'all an early review in a while. But as you guys seen, Lil Bro G Man actually hit me up last night to let me know that these joints was in. He called me this morning, be like, break. The army want to see him. You got to slide on me now. Come grab these and make sure you get the video out today. So as promised, I'm getting this video out to you guys today. But if you new over here, make sure you hit that thumbs up. And if you still new over here, make sure you subscribe to the channel. You don't even got to be new to even hit the thumbs up. I need all the members of the army to smash the thumbs up for this joint right here. Because I'm going to keep it a buck with y'all, man. I'm going to keep it honest. From images and from just looking at them, I wasn't 100% feeling these right here. So hopefully, by doing this review, it'll actually change my mind on these joints. And again, the joints I'm talking about is the Air Jordan 1 Rebellionaires. Now, from the box art, the box art is just dope, bro. It kind of gives me that Air Jordan 1 band from 2011. It's kind of giving me those type of vibes with the box because that box had the X on the front of it. We got all these writing on these joints. I see from, I see where, stop, them, they can't, maybe they can't stop you. I don't know. It's a lot of just writing and graffiti on the box. Let's check out the label. Label reads Air Jordan 1 Retro High OG. Colorway is black, white, particle gray. This is a size nine and a half. Now, it's a lot going on with these as far as the release day, as far as what spots are actually getting these, etc. When I take a look at J23, it's saying that these are supposed to drop this Saturday, the 12th, but I've also been hearing the spots dropping them on the 17th and the 18th. It's a lot of confusion going on with these, but as far as J23, retail is still 170 bucks on these. Now, looking at the packaging, the packaging looked like the commercial. Y'all remember the commercial where they put like the that red like sensor you did over the Air Jordan 1 bands? And then you flip it this way, and then you actually have it right here. So the packaging alone got my attention. Packaging alone is nice, y'all. And then we get to the shoe. Now, I haven't touched this shoe, but the main reason why I wasn't feeling it is because I feel like it's like an all 3M shoe, and it's kind of going to give me like that. Y'all remember the Air Jordan, what was it, like 3 Lab 5s or 5 Lab 3s? I, I think it was a, the 5 Lab 3s or the 3, whichever the 3s was. Them, those lab series was kind of confusing with the numbers, but that whole 3M shoe, it just, it just felt funny, and these don't give me that vibe. This still has more of a leather texture to them, so right there alone, I'm liking that. So let's go ahead and take these joints out. Now, from the rumors that I'm hearing, these are supposed to be limited to about 8,000 pairs worldwide. How true is that? I don't really know, but from what I'm hearing as well, these will not be dropping on the sneakers app. And most spots that will be getting these are like boutiques, tier zeros, and maybe a couple other foot sites will be having the Air Jordan 1 Rebellionaire. And another shoe that these also reminded me of was the Air Jordan 1 Jeters. And again, it had like that 3M feel to it, which I didn't like. But this, it just feels like a leather shoe. If I have my eyes closed, I would say that this is a leather shoe with like a little bit of gloss on it. Okay, it, again, it doesn't give you like that 3M vibe. Like, grab your Air Jordan 5s and like feel the tongue. That's how I honestly thought the entire shoe was going to feel. So, I was wrong on that. And that makes me like these joints just a tad bit more. And again, y'all, the box art and the packaging on these joints is nice. It's nice. Now, I kind of understand why resale on these joints was busting. You know, at one point, these joints was over a 1000 Of course, that was a couple weeks ago. Now, a size 11 is sitting around $550. Now, we already know that these are going to be busting on release day because they're supposed to drop this week, and the price is already dang near triple. 
You know, so these are gonna be a highly sought after Air Jordan 1. Now, Sneaker Files IG, it says, exclusive Air Jordan 1 OG High Rebellionaire. Now, they calling these like the undefeated Rebellionaire. I'm not sure if undefeated has anything to do with these, but they calling them the undefeated Rebellionaire. Will not be releasing on sneakers, Nike.com, or Foot Sites. The pairs will first release at 6 MBHD stores on March 12th. Those stores are Undefeated, Unknown, Kicking It, All The Right, Corporate, and Make Away. Additional US MBHD stores will release the Rebellionaires Air Jordan 1 OG High on March 19th. So that's where I got those two dates from. It says here is a list of the neighborhood doors that may be carrying the shoes on March 19th. AWOL, Bodega, Concept, Phenom Global, SVRN, that's in Chicago, Union, Active Athlete, Kicks Lounge, Juice, Features, Sneaker Politics, St. Alfred, that's in Illinois, Wish, Likelihood, RSVP, that's in Illinois, Rock City Kicks, Puffer Reds, Soul Flat, Lapstone and Hammer, Premium Goods, Extra Butter, Social Status, I'm on my year, Rooted, Earn Rubber, Shoe Gallery, Up NYC, No Trade, that's in Chicago as well, Dark Side, Initiative, Stash, Soul Play ATL, and Cream 321. So to my knowledge, this is the first time that an Air Jordan 1 has only released at like boutiques. And I feel like it's a couple other spots that is not listed on this list as well. So man, think about it like this. All the places that generally get maybe like a Travis Scott or something of that nature, those are gonna be the spots that's you know, getting these. And of course, throughout the week, I'm gonna keep you guys updated on the spots that are getting them and the spots that are not getting them. Now, looking at the outsole, we got this particle gray outsole. Flipping up, we got this all white midsole. Now, based off the colorway, of course, it's giving me Air Jordan 1 shadow vibes. This is 100% giving me shadow vibes. Now, Army, I also have- We got two sizes available to go with these joints right here. We got the Unbreakable Kick Satin Jacket. I wanna say I only got a 4X in size small available. 4X and small available. I do the jackets at $75 and you add for shipping. $75 and you add for shipping. And here's the front. It got like my logo right here on the front. And again, we got the Unbreakable with the X on the back. So again, 75 you add for shipping. Only got size small and a 4X, I believe. Now these joints do come with a spare pair of white laces. Now what would have been dope if these would have came with like a flashlight like the Air Jordan 5 DBs. So you kind of can scan on the shoe and kind of can see exactly what all this is talking about. I gotta be one to admit when I'm wrong and I actually like these a lot better in hand. Again, I just thought that these were gonna have too much of like a 3M feel to it and it actually doesn't. Here's a look at the heel with both X's on the back. Again, a nice little side profile view of them. Give you guys that lateral view. Y'all let me know how y'all feel about these in the comment section below, Army. Y'all let me know how y'all feel about these. I feel like a lot of people gonna actually rock with these now, man. I do like the shadow look that they did give on these. Maybe they could have went with the bread colorway since the breads were the ones that you know, actually got banned. I don't know why they putting the X on a colorway that Jordan didn't even wear on the court. But, I mean, it is what it is. It's still a nice colorway. These are definitely going to move. And especially with these being a lot more limited than a lot of people expected, I feel like more people are actually going to go for these. They still give me that Jeter vibe. I don't change that. They do give me that Jeter vibe, but they don't feel like the Jeters. And in hand, it's a better shoe. So again, your boy admits when he's wrong, and I actually like these a lot more than I originally expected to. I, mean, I feel like a lot of these spots will be doing raffles, so if they are doing raffles via online, we will go live for it, try to make sure we fill out every possible raffle, because again, this is gonna be a hot one, and a lot of people are gonna wanna, and a lot of people are gonna wanna get their hands on it, so in order to increase our chance of getting dubs, we gotta fill out those raffles. So whatever day y'all wanna go live so we can do that, just let me know in the comment section below. And other than that, you got your boy Unbreakable. You got the Air Jordan 1 Undefeated Rebellionaires. Again, these have two release dates. Six stores will be getting them on the 12th and the remaining stores will be releasing them on the 19th. As of right now, they will not be releasing on Nike sneakers. They will not be releasing on Nike.com 
or any other foot size things may change, but as of right now, that's what it is. And also, Armin, they will be doing another Heat It Up tomorrow on the Sneakers app, so maybe we go live for that just to see if they shot drop something. I don't know. I haven't heard anything, but it don't hurt to try. Again, Armin, I love you guys. I appreciate y'all. You got your boy Unbreakable. You got the Air Jordan 1 Rebellionaires. Unbreakable Army stands strong like always. Most importantly, hug your loved ones, and of course, remain humble. And we out. I hit Unbreakable for the uses. He the plug, call him when I need him. He's old stuff, but he get him easy. He was old, him first season. The most beefy, looking like two laps. Two laps, cause your ass taking down.